Hi, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this short video I'm going to explain how to use the built-in checkout forms that are part of Authorize.net. Now the default behavior for Authorize.net out of the box is to provide a checkout form much like the one you see here. It provides a little yellow box up at the top that provides the details for their checkout. And it also has placeholders for you to put in a site seal if you get one from your SSL provider or from Authorize.net. Um, you can put in guarantee code. There are placeholders for each of these uh, little components. Now let me show you exactly how this works and that in the current version, version 1.4, there are three different checkout templates. So first of all, when you edit the checkout page, so again you get here by going to Pages, and then you click Ch Edit under Checkout, and the default is that you get the short code Offnet CO. If you wanted one of the other styles, you could say style equals two. And by the way, the default is style equals one. So, or, so in other words, if you have style equals one, that's the same as leaving it out altogether. But if you change this to style equals two and click update and come back to checkout, you update this page and you'll see now that it provides you with a different style for the checkout page. In this case, it, it asks for the billing details on the left and the payment details on the right. And it's moved around where the guarantee and site seals go. Now the third style is the checkout style number three. And we update again and come back and refresh. And you'll see this is the, the last style. And so this provides tabbed sections for the payment details and then the checkout credit card details. Now there's an additional option and for that option you have to go in and change one of the settings on the default settings page. So let me show you how that works. From the dashboard you follow the menu down until you get to authorize.net and from the settings page you'll now find checkout template preferences. So here you can choose whether you want to include a logo or text on the checkout template. You can also choose the header HTML, footer HTML, and I'll show you where all of these go. The guarantee HTML, copyright notice, what you want the buy now button to say, your site seals, you can just paste any HTML you get from your SSL provider or from authorize.net in there. Here's a reminder now in this area of what the Authnet CO shortcode looks like. So you can just copy and paste this if you ever wanted to put it in a different page. And then this option, Synchronize Now, is something you'll need to do at least once each time you change your theme. So first of all, let me show you how Synchronize Now works. When you click Synchronize Now, all it does is come back and say Template File Synchronized. And what that does is it moves certain images and also style sheets over to your theme. All you need to know is that you have to click Synchronize Now at least once. Once you've synchronized the templates over, You'll find that under this template area, there is now an authnet, authorize.net checkout template. And when you click update, this page will now use the checkout template. When you come over here, notice that before, this is following the same style as the rest of my site. But now when I refresh, you'll see that it provides a checkout page. So this gets rid of all of the navigation that might be on your site, which is often a good idea, and provides you a place to put in text or a logo, your header details, again your site seal and other checkout details, your copyright, and your footer, HTML. So if you come back here to your checkout template preferences, let's say um, buy now page. Or you could even say, my company. And then header, uh, complete your purchase below. Footer, links to privacy. So you can put any links, any HTML you'd like in any of these boxes, by the way. Um, 30 day money back, guarantee. And then copyright. Yeah, we put your name in there, Daniel Watrous, 2011, oops, and then change this to buy now. Okay, oh, and then a site seal, uh, SSL or authorized.net seal. 
OK, so you can see now what values I've put in each of these. Once you've changed these values, you have to scroll down to the bottom and click Update Settings. Now when you come back to your checkout page and you refresh, you'll see that it now says My Company. It puts whatever text you, you provided up there. And then any text again that you put up here also appears. And then your site seal will appear here. Your guarantee will appear here. And these can all be HTML. So that means you can put um, images and, and other HTML elements in there. And then when you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that it displays the copyright and then links to privacy, terms, whatever else you'd like to put down there. And the link now says buy now. So that is how you customize the checkout page. The key things to remember, first of all, when you get to the settings page, scroll down here and click synchronize now. You only have to do that one time. Here's a reminder of how to add styles in to the checkout page. And then you have to go to the checkout page and tell it what style you're interested in. So you could change that there to anything you'd like and always click update when you're done. And if you want to use the checkout template, and it's not required, but if you want to, you just choose that from the template pull-down. And if you don't see the template pull-down, remember to go back and synchronize your files. Thank you very much for uh, using Authorize.net for WordPress. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks. Bye.